Hello, hello, Jeff Elman here with Balan Brands, and today we're gonna look a little more into how we can customize our new KW Agent Command websites. So I am logged into my dashboard. We've got down here on the bottom left, the Consumer tab. I have already done the upgrade. So if you've not done the upgrade from the original website to the new website uh, platform, then you'll wanna go ahead and do that. I do have a different video on that. Um, you can find it on our YouTube channel if you have not done that yet, but here we are, um, already done. We have a couple of our settings that are still there. We can change our subdomain. I'm gonna keep mine as it is. Uh, we've got the app URL that stays consistent. And then we have some preferences. So we can enable whether or not the home loans display is on the app. Um, we can, the, uh, the Keller covered. So if you're part of those programs or encourage those, um, those you can um, enable or disable if you don't want to do those. And then here we have the uh, display neighborhoods on the agent site um, as well. So we'll go ahead and keep that. And then I want to go ahead and click save changes if I'm going to do anything there. Then we also have the force registration option. So we can do the unrestricted, meaning it's never going to ask them to register. They, they, we would only get them as a lead if they um, fill out a form or something of that nature. Then we've got the 10 properties, two properties, and no property viewing, meaning it's forcing registration as soon as they click through to something on the site. So first and foremost, I'm just gonna pull up the website here so we can get an example of what it looks like. So this is the new website. Um, we've got some options here. We're gonna customize this header up here. Um, this is all pretty standard. We've got featured properties that we can do. Um, this is pulling automatically right now. This is not something that I selected personally, so we'll take a look at that. Um, and then there's the latest blog. So you have those options too. There are these four, uh, basically the first time home buyer's guide, part one, two, three, and four, those are already in there for you. And we can add more to that. And then of course we have um, some more features here. And we've got our navigation up here, about me, search properties, uh, blog, and then more, as well as a login. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna close that out or at least go back to the screen here. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it unrestricted for now as well. So now I wanna go ahead and edit my website. <clears throat> so this editor is a little bit different. Um, it's not quite as um, intuitive, I'll say, as some of the website editors out there, but it is a little easier for us to manage and use these different features. Um, you'll see here, we've got this little quick start option, which I can customize. Um, what shows up there gives me a link to my website here and then but our options here are blog posts I can add an image testimonial video or video uh, for a YouTube URL or Vimeo URL Those are the options. So here's the pages that I already have now The trick right now is that these I can't create a custom page on the website, I can add a blog post, but I can't actually create custom pages. It's something we were able to do on the original site, but that's not something they've rolled out for us yet here. So we are um, just kind of working with what we have, but we do have the homepage, the about us, the blog list page, um, and then a custom contact form. And then I have the option to manage my navigation and stuff as well. So I'm just gonna go here and just walk through these options. So I'm gonna click on page, the homepage, and you'll see here, it's showing me like an example of what it's gonna look like. So I've got the header, I've got some featured properties, got the blog, and then the footer down here. So these are the different options that I have for each of those sections. So if I click on listing search module, for example, then it's saying I can choose these different options to make available um, on my website. So I can give it a title, so Las Vegas, and Boulder City Real Estate, we'll call it. All right, so it kind of shows up here. It's giving a little sample of what that's gonna look like when we uh, roll through it. Then we've got the carousel image here. So I've got this one selected and we have options for grid view and list view. That's just to show what our different images are. So I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just select that one is good. All right. Then we've got the uh, default fallback images. So these are some other ones that if there isn't an image available, it'll show up there. So we've got that selected. All right, close that. And then we're gonna go to listing list. So display or hide the module. So right now I have it displayed for featured properties. Um, I could just get rid of it if I don't have any, I can hide it. 
um, if I don't want to display properties here. But in this case, featured properties is a default. Um, so we'll just say properties, I love, if I wanted to customize that. Then we have a description here. Um, let's see more about these amazing properties. And then dynamic, so this is saying I'm, I have a dynamic listing. So my options here are dynamic um, or basic. So if I click basic, then I actually just add listings myself. If I do dynamic, then it's gonna pull up listings um, that I may want. So in this case, we're gonna say location. Um, it's got this selected. I'm gonna do, let's say, just a sample in a different area. So Boulder City, Nevada. This is right outside of Las Vegas, a, a, a area that I focus on. Um, so how many uh, numbers to display, the search radius, and you know, recently updated, price, low to high. So I have options here on what to do. So I'll just go ahead and keep recently updated. Um, now I'm gonna click on filtered listings because I wanna change kind of what is available. So we're gonna do um, sale, active, property types. I wanna just do um, single family, let's see, houses. I'm just gonna do houses, I don't want land. Um, so I've got houses selected, I can do bath bathrooms, bedrooms, home size, lot size, minimum, maximum, but in this case, um, that works out great. I can also do certain keywords. So it's, I've got a lot of filters that I can really um, feature here, which is kind of nice, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that as is. All right, and then I'm gonna go now, we're good here. And you'll notice this little yellow um, section here that just means that I've made edits there <clears throat> to that particular section. So those are things that are edited. Um, testimonials list. So if I have testimonials in the system here, we'll display them. Uh, feature testimonials, description, um, max number to display, things like that. I don't actually have testimonials built into mine right now. I don't have those selected in there. So, um, I don't think, let me double check. Yeah, no items. So I don't have them selected in there, so it's not showing an actual testimonial section in my case. But if you did have testimonials and we entered them into the testimonial section of the website, um, then of course we would be able to display those. And then here we've got the page list. So we've got um, display or hide the module. So the page list module right now is the blog. So my blog, buyer's guide, we'll go ahead and leave that. Um, I can change it, how many blogs are we showing, I can filter them. I can change the order in which they are um, displaying. So if I do add more blog posts, then I can go customize that as well, which is very nice. Um, there's also some advanced features. Um, let's see, I didn't check these out on locales, certain areas, things like that, organization. So as we get more into this and add more content to it, then we have some different options there as well. So again, we have dynamic, we have advanced, and we have some basic dynamics gonna pull the latest pretty much um, on how we have. So if I were to post a new blog, it would automatically update my homepage there. All right, so those are some changes I did. Um, let me go ahead and hit save on that. See how that looks for us now. Okay, um, I didn't do the image it looks like. So let me go back to my site now. So it went from featured properties to properties I love, see more about these amazing properties. You'll see it shows now um, ones that I have selected there. And it's got our blog posts, then of course my information at the bottom, as well as the uh, neighborhoods that I have selected there. So let me go ahead and go back. And for some reason, um, I just didn't, it's not saving my image. So I don't actually know why that is. Um, maybe I need to change this one. Uh, nope, that's gonna let me edit it. Well, I'm not gonna get stuck there. Um, it's just not, uh, let me just go ahead and go back there. Back to tools. So you'll see a lot of editing options that we can do with the images, which is pretty nice. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just get back out of there. All right.
right. Okay, so back to tools. Well, I gotta get back to my site here. Hold on, dashboard. There we go. Okay, so that was for the home page. So if I go to the about the agent page, um, then we're gonna see something similar here where uh, it's got basically the different modules that are there. So I can click on agent profile. Am I displaying or hiding it? That's this here, little profile. So I can choose hide. And then that goes away. If I wanted to do that, see how it's gone now. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. I like that right there at the top. I think it's a nice little touch there. So we'll display it. Um, agent details, display or hide. Now all of this is fed through the, um, the command section in your settings. So that's why you're not seeing the option to change that here. So I can just choose to display or hide the agent details. So this one just shows my language and my market center. That's not really something that I care for my uh, visitors to see. As long as they have my contact information, then we're good to go there. So I'll get rid of that. Um, agent bio display or hide. So that's what I have in the platform and the system already. So I'll keep that. And then my preferred vendors. So this is a new feature. Um, we don't actually have any vendors, or I don't have any vendors, I should say, put in here, but you can add vendors. That's a different video um, as well, but that gives an option to display different vendors um, under the About section. So I might usually put that probably somewhere else, but you know they have it fed here as part of this page, so that's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and leave that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Save. All right, I'll set there. All right, perfect. So that's done now. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to um, my dashboard. I'm gonna look at the blog list page and then the contact form. <clears throat> Excuse me, so if I click on the blog list page here, um, this just basically shows the list and tells us you know, which what I can do. So it's not too much different than what we have on the home page, but this is for the actual entire blog page. So right now it's called my blog, I can you know, take it from our experts. I can change all that, give it a little description um, and choose what I want to show up where, filter what's showing up, how often, how many pages before, I mean, how many blogs before it goes to the next page. So a lot of different options there that I can play with if I wanted to customize that. But usually the default is just fine um, unless you're working on some more sophisticated uh, things there. So let me go back to dashboard. And lastly, we'll hit the contact form. <clears throat> and you'll see it just has a title, contact me. As you can see, there's really nothing we can do with this yet. I can't add fields, I can't require this or not require that. Uh, this is just kind of some basics that we have available to us. So again, not really a lot that we're gonna change there. So I go back to dashboard. All right, now, if we were adding something, so if I click on testimonial, I can actually add a testimonial, give it the star rating, um, enter that in the platform. This is what feeds it into the system for me to then use as one of the modules on the page. Um, so that is an option for adding the testimonials. Um, let's go ahead and image. I can add images to the media section um, so that I can utilize those there, give it a name. It's a new upload, I choose it. I can give it a caption as well. That'll play more of a role on the pages when we can do more on the pages and in the blog posts. Um, and then same thing for the videos. So let's say I have a YouTube URL. Um, so I can pull a URL out of there and paste it in. I can give it a name, preview, description, thumbnail image, poster image. So, and again, this is something we're gonna use on um, the actual content pages when we use the content. So it doesn't really technically have relevance here. We have to upload it and then we can place it on the page. Um, you'll notice here too under owner, there's a KW agent sites and then KW team sites. So depending on if you're building out team pages or if you're building out your own site, um, then you're gonna have some settings and permissions that you can mess with there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to dashboard. And the last one is the blog post. So if I click on blog post, um, I can give it a headline, I give it a sub headline. So that's gonna be what shows up here. Um, I can add a module. So if I had a video in there, I can add the video. But if you remember, I didn't actually upload the video there, but I can <clears throat> don't have that in the system yet. Um, but that is an option to add the video there. And then um, let me get back out of there. Video, um, go back here. Okay, so headline, subheadline, um, adding modules, like I said, is an option there. And then here's the actual body of the content. Now, one of the things that you're gonna notice is we don't have a lot of, um, 
we can't do a lot of the SEO stuff. So we have H2s, we've got, you know, I can do a horizontal rule. I mean, I can add links, I can add an image in the content itself. Um, but, but we don't have the same quite ability to, um, you know, optimize for search engines, um, you know, really work on keywords and structure and things like that. So this is a good way to get content on the page, but um, you know, the command websites are still focused more on the consumer, less for marketing for the agents. Um, we want to be able to show our information and have this all available, but um, it's not necessarily for us to, you know, game the search engines and so forth. Um, also, the domain name is still .kw.com, so any content we do publish is still going to uh, technically go back to the authority of, of kw.com for the domain authority. Um, but it is a good way for us to still have a functional website, something if we don't have our own work, uh, website outside of our brokerage, uh, you know, we do build WordPress websites as well that are outside of the KW platform or EXP or, you know, any of those, um, in order to have that full flexibility and really compete on the search engines. But, um, uh, we are able to at least add pages or add some content, I should say, um, and, and really make it a lot more valuable. On our previous version of this, we had very, very limited um, mobilities. We were able to add a page, but it had to be a certain layout. We couldn't add certain um, like codes and things like that, whereas we have a lot more of that flexibility here. So definitely an improvement um, overall. We're just missing that one main feature that's gonna help us uh, really make these websites um, something that are really super useful for us if we don't have our own websites outside of the brokerage and, um, you know, a good, good step ahead in the first place. So hopefully those pages that we'll be able to add custom pages where we can do, um, things on the site, like, uh, instant home value forms through something like listings of leads, um, or, uh, different landing pages right now, we could still technically add, um, a home value form we can still do like landing pages they just can't be hosted on the same url so for example right now um, i have the jhelvin.kw.com and i have these under more i could still have an instant home value but when i click on that it's going to go to uh, a hosted page it won't be on the .kw.com it'll be hosted through the platform that we use so we still can do that for you we still can customize and add more here um we just can't do it on the site yet so something that we're definitely waiting um, for that to come. But in the meantime, if you would like us to help customize your website, your KW site, um, add some pages, you know, dial it in a little bit better to make it tailored for you, we do have that service available and we would love to help. So if you have any other questions, you can reach out to us at team at